Hey guys, welcome. Today we are going over the events tab in the Mitel Connect software. This is where you're going to get in and be able to do collaboration, going to be able to synchronize with your calendar, so stay tuned. Alright guys, welcome back and today we are going over the events tab on the Mitel Connect software. So inside of this, this is how you're going to be able to create conference calls, create presentation calls. Also if somebody sends you an invitation, the information for those calls will be in there and it also synchronizes with the rest of your calendar so it's not just for conference calls. So we're going to dig in, we're going to look at some tips and tricks and how to use each one of these features. Also show you uh, behind the scenes on some of the collaboration features as far as being able to share your screen or do a group chat inside of the collaboration tool. So let's jump in my computer and uh, we'll get to it. Hey everybody, welcome back inside of my computer. Today we are going over the events tab. So this is uh, going to be fairly quick, but what you do to get into the events tab is just go over here on the left side and you'll see this calendar icon where it says events next to it. If you do have it minimized, all you're going to do is see the calendar event. Um, so you go ahead and open this up and it's going to pop up and have upcoming and past. The other ones that are available are your add button. So if I want to create a new event and then if I want to look at the calendar, I can actually pull up and go, okay, I want to look at here on the 9th um, or something similar. So. This is a very good tool to get in and look at a quick view of your day. So this does synchronize with your default calendar application um, or your Exchange server, depending on how your administrator has this set up. But to create a meeting, um, uh, all you need to do is go ahead and select the new event. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to say we'll create a test meeting that is today, and we're going to go ahead and start it. Let's see, what is it? It's 12.05 currently. So 12.07, we will have it last for one hour. It occurs once. I'm not going to have this on site. I'm going to have this as a call-in meeting. And I'm going to be the organizer, and I'm going to bring in the Demo1 and Demo2 account. And then I'm also going to bring in an outside user. So you can go ahead and do that. And then this one is an agenda. So the agenda, the one thing about this, this agenda time frame needs to match whatever this meeting last is. So if it's one hour, we need one hour of agenda. So this can be intro, 20 minutes, um, main item, 40 minutes. And now we have, um, Actually, let's change that to 35, and we will close the meeting with another five minutes. And that's going to equal out to an hour. So this will allow us to save it. Um, so I can go ahead here, and I'll create this is the overview of, of the meeting. And if I want to, I can actually... Um, attach files directly from Drop Dropbox. I can also go in here where it says show settings and every time I create an event it's going to create a conference call number so if I want to get in and change certain things I can go in here and then I can actually so I can protect it so it's got a password um, depending on your setup and your permissions you could actually create the participant code or the organizers codes uh, you can start the meeting, you can choose whether you want um, it to start as soon as anybody joins or whether anybody and the organizers join. And then you can also create um, where it announces participants. Um, you can have them record their name if required and you can mute participants on entry. So depending on your setup and what you're trying to do, that can be very handy, um, especially for presentations or anything like that. So I can go in here, we've got everything set up and I'm just gonna go ahead and click create. So hopefully it's going to allow me. Okay, so let's do this. We'll go ahead and create it at 12.09. Um, and we hit create. So it's gonna go ahead and create the conference. And the thing you'll see is that it'll pop up 
And because the meeting is about to start here, it actually shows up here in my notifications bar. So down here I can see, hey, test, um, that's the name of the meeting, and it starts in one minute. So as it gets close to your meeting, uh, you can actually see this pop up in your software. And this works with short tail conferencing. It also works with other providers such as GoToMeeting or WebEx. This will show up and to join the call from your phone, the only thing you need to do is hit that button. And that's actually gonna pick up your phone and dial into the conference for you. So the conference is basically calling my phone. And this allows me to just join the conference with one um, button push. So all I would need to do is hit one and it would have joined me to the conference. So the other things you can do when you pop pop open like this is um, I can open up the, basically um, I call it the command center, but it just uh, is where you can get in and see other people joining the conference. So it gives you a couple different options in here. I can mute certain individuals. I can mute everybody. I can also start recording the conference. I can raise my hand. So if I'm not the organizer and somebody has me on mute, I can actually hit this raise hand and it's going to notify the organizer that I want to talk and they can unmute me. I can also add a participant. So if somebody hasn't joined and they need to be on the conference call, I can just hit this and dial their number and it will allow me to um, bring that person in to the conference. All right, another thing I can do is I can lock the conference. So if I don't want anybody else to join, I can actually select this and it won't let anybody else join. And then I can also get information about the conference. So if somebody hasn't called in and they don't aren't able to get to the information quickly, I can just hit copy and I can email it to them or send it however is the easiest. So there is also a unified chat box. And up here, if I wanna share my screen, all I need to do is go ahead and click that. And that will, um, allow me to share my screen. Now this does not have any plugins. You don't need to install Java or have Flash or any other software. It's all included with the Connect software. So we have that um, and then also the ability to call in uh, again because I, I hung up earlier. This will um, allow me to call in. So uh, say I'm not at my office and I need to take a call on my cell phone. Right here where I can say call me at, I can just go in there and I can type my cell phone and hit call me and it will call me at that number. So uh, another thing that it can do, um, remember when we put the agenda in there, is that it's going to actually follow me along this timeline. So right now we're in the intro period and you can see this little arrow. So basically as we go through this arrow just moves down farther and farther until the meeting is done. Um, now this does not automatically cancel the meeting when it reaches the final um, time. It just lets you know that the meeting, like you're basically going over the, your agenda or your, your stated time. So, but that is basically events in here. So you can see that we have another meeting scheduled for the future. So I can open that up and I can copy participants names. So if I, I need to say, Hey, who's in this meeting, I can just copy this. I can paste it into an email and shoot it off to whoever needs to, uh, uh, be part of that, you know, correspondence. So that is the events tab. That is pretty straightforward in there. Um, once the meeting is done, it will go ahead and go to the past. Um, and another nice little feature is right in here. It'll show me that I actually have some time open. So if I want to go in here and it's like, oh, I've got an hour and 51 minutes open and I want to just create a meeting because uh, I've got something really important to talk to somebody about. I can go in here, I can create the meeting. Um, it only needs to be 15 minutes. And I want this to be more of a presentation. So the presenter is gonna be me. But then I want to add these other people. and begin because this is 15 minutes we need to go up and we need to create uh, an agenda that is 
15 minutes long and this can only this can be just one one item um, and we go ahead and hit create and that really is all there is to it and this is also how you create conference calls so that is very handy very quick way um, when it hits this time open time all I need to do is hit the button and it's gonna go ahead and call um, my phone and join me to the conference so I'm gonna go ahead and hang up real quick All right, everybody, that is pretty much it for the events tab. So I hope you found this really helpful. If you uh, do find this helpful and you want other information about the, the Mitel Connect system, you know, maybe this is either a new phone system or you are looking to uh, make a change, go ahead and subscribe to our channel. We do put out these types of training and overview videos pretty consistently on different things about the software and the phone system. So you can learn how to use this the best for your business. So we look forward to speaking with you. Again, if you have any questions, shoot them down in the comment section below and we will get back to you as quickly as possible. You can always also shoot us an email at info at bfoxg.com. So that's bfoxg.com. We look forward to speaking with you and we hope you have a great day, night or whatever time you are watching this.